One of the number one questions I get asked by job seekers looking to break into cybersecurity is how can I become a cybersecurity analyst if I have zero experience? Well, today I'm giving you an exact blueprint, a realistic six month learning plan from a recruiter's perspective to take you from absolutely zero to landing that cybersecurity analyst role. Trust me, it's simpler than you think, but you do need a very clear roadmap. Now, if you've watched my previous video on becoming a cybersecurity analyst in 2025, well, this one builds on from that and it goes a step further and breaking it all down into a focused six month plan you can actually follow no matter your background. And that's exactly what you're about to get. Now, remember this timeline does depend on how much you can dedicate each day. So if you're juggling work, family or other responsibilities, just adjust accordingly, but use this as your ultimate guideline. Hey everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name's Luke. I've got over 14 years of recruitment experience and my job is to help people like you break into the tech industry and, and land careers in cybersecurity. So grab a pen and paper and let's get going. Okay, month number one, learning the foundations and basics of cybersecurity. So this is where you build the base of everything else to come. Begin with networking, understand how the internet works, IP addresses, DNS, routers, firewalls, VPNs, you get the picture. These are the roads and highways data travels on. Now the CompTIA Network Plus is a great resource to guide you. We'll come back to this point in a minute. Then look at operating systems. So you must become fluent in Windows and Linux. Windows is still used heavily in enterprises and Linux powers many services and security tools. Install Linux and start using it daily. Then you have cloud computing. Now this is such a hot area at the moment in cybersecurity. Cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud are the new normal. Understand IAM encryption and how to secure cloud resources. Add to that, you've got the core cybersecurity concepts that you need to learn, such as threats and attacks, incident response, vulnerability management. Make sure you go for all of these. Now here's a recruiter insight for you. Candidates who can speak confidently about these basics, even in a non-technical way, stand out. Try and commit one to two hours daily and use platforms like Coursera, LinkedIn Learning, or even YouTube tutorials. Okay, moving on to month number two, learning cybersecurity principles and frameworks. So now that you've got the basics down, month two deepens your knowledge. Start looking at CIA triad, start looking at security controls and layers and start looking at cybersecurity frameworks. Take notes because interviewers love to ask scenario-based questions around these frameworks. Document your learning. This will come in handy later for your portfolio and interviews when we discuss this. Try to study one and a half to two hours per day. Okay, moving on to month three. This is where we start looking at hands-on practical skills. Now in month three, it's time to get your hands dirty, the fun part. So look at virtual labs. Start playing around on platforms like Try Hack Me or Hack The Box. They simulate real life attack and defense scenarios. Security tools, practice with Wireshark, look at Nmap, Metasploit, and install Kali Linux and learn to navigate it. Then you have Python scripting. Now Python is used for automating tasks. It's used for writing scripts and even creating security tools. From a recruiter's point of view, this is the point where you shift from learner to practitioner. Seeing hands-on skills on a resume, especially with platforms like Try Hack Me or Personal Labs, it's a game changer. Once again, document everything you do. Month number four, time to get certified. So this is where we start looking at certifications. My advice is as follows. Look at getting the CompTIA Network Plus. This covers everything about networking. You'll cover all the basics and essentials. Then I'd look at getting the CompTIA Security Plus. This is widely recognized and respected, and it proves you know the core of cybersecurity. Now there is one other option. You've got the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. If you're newer to tech and prefer maybe a more structured beginner course, this is another pathway, but I must say that my preference for you would be to do the Security Plus. And from a recruiter's lens, Security Plus often shows up as a required or preferred qualification on job specification. Most of the time when I get job specs from hiring managers, the CompTIA Security Plus will be there as a prerequisite. And it also can help you fast track past HR screening tools or applicant tracking systems because they may be looking for this as a keyword. So I do think it's a really important certification to get. I want you to now start looking at mock tests. So create a study plan, use flashcards, notes, and set your exam date to stay focused so you know exactly when you have to be prepared for. Two to three hours a day is ideal here. Okay, moving on to month five. This is when you start building your portfolio. So now you need to stand out. Recruiters love portfolios because they show, not just tell. Remember that not all recruiters are gonna be cybersecurity experts. So if you can have a portfolio 
with your resume and give to a recruiter, it shows exactly what you've done. It's a lot easier for them to understand and subsequently shortlist you for those jobs. Okay, look at home lab projects. Simulate setting up files, scanning for vulnerabilities and responding to incidents. Look at bug bounties, sites like HackerOne and BugCrowd. They allow you to legally find and report vulnerabilities. Then look at CTFs, which are capture the flag competitions. These are really fun and they push your technical problem solving skills. Now a recruiter's tip, I've seen candidates get interviews purely because their GitHub was impressive. I really have. So employers want proof you can do the job. Once again, document all of this on GitHub, even a personal website, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you document it. Explain what you did, why you did it, and what the outcome was. Okay, month number six, job hunting and interview prep. So you've put in the work, now let's get you that job. Exciting. So update your resume, highlight your certifications, your labs, projects, any other community involvement, and tailor your experience to align exactly with the job description. Can't stress this enough, make sure you tailor your resume and you don't just send out a generic resume for every time you apply for a job. Moving on to optimizing LinkedIn. Now LinkedIn essentially is a digital resume. So make sure that you use a banner, headline, featured section, post content, start connecting with cybersecurity professionals. LinkedIn's a great place to network. Then you wanna look at practice interviews. If you're using a recruiter already, you can ask them to help you with mock interviews. If not, grab a family member, a friend, anyone that can help ask you some questions in an interview-like environment, and you can practice answering them. Now, if you haven't already, start engaging with recruiters. And a tip for you, recruiters love when a candidate reaches out and includes a GitHub or Try Hack Me profile. So remember this, show us what you've done. Spend about one or two hours daily here. Now treat your job search like it was a job. Now let me be honest with you, this, this won't be easy. There will be days you will feel stuck or overwhelmed and it's completely normal. The key though is consistency. Focus on progress, not perfection. Tackle one skill at a time, use a planner, join communities, lean on mentors and stay curious. And remember recruiters aren't always looking for a perfect candidate. We're looking for progress, potential and passion. So let's recap your six month path. Month number one, foundation. Learn networking, operating systems, cloud, cyber concepts. Month number two, deepen your knowledge. So start looking at security principles and frameworks. Month three, hands-on skills, labs, tools, Python scripting. Month number four, certify yourself. Network plus, security plus, and you have the optional option of Google certification. Month number five, portfolio. Projects, capture the flag competitions, bug bounties. Month number six, job ready. Tailor your resume, networking, interview preparation, optimize LinkedIn. Now this isn't just a checklist, it's your launch pad into a booming industry. Cybersecurity is evolving so fast and there's a seat waiting for someone like you. If you found this helpful, which I really hope you did, please like and subscribe. Drop your questions in the comments or share where you're at in your journey. I try and check all of the comments and respond to all of them if I can. And don't forget to check out my free newsletter, The Career Compass, where I share weekly tips on cybersecurity careers, interviews, job hunting, and much more. Good luck. And remember, the only thing between you and a cybersecurity career is action. Let's make it happen. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep leveling up your career. See you in the next video.